All right, so we are starting off the first duel against Vinicius. And uh, you see we're, uh, this is pretty bad, but you know what? We can start off with um, just a Unizombie summon, and then we can just send this straight to the graveyard. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be playing this deck today because this is uh, just for fun. Um, and you know what? Let's fuck it. Let's set four back row because why not? Now, this deck is, <laughs> like I said, pretty uh inconsistent i mean not it's it it's it, it's pretty uh not not inconsistent i would say just a one 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 trick pony deck as you see i open up units i mean there's literally nothing else i can do um any oh shit that is getting warning actually do i want to warning that um sure let's go ahead and warning it let's leave that scepter in his damn hand no sovereignty let's leave sovereignty in his hand that's fine oh there we go now see look we already got the thing started we're good jesus christ um we could literally do a lot now we can normal summon this let's go ahead and point ignore chain because they're gonna no they're not um yeah we're gonna normal summon this we're gonna use Teratops effect to get the tot and tong board and that and this is so good. Uh, the the speed Roy top is just so good. So now we're gonna just we're gonna just put in some uh, massive, I guess. Um, this, we're gonna just build a massive field presence. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna end with. We might end with something very crazy. I do not know as of right now. Let's go ahead and get this Mormorat in defense mode, and then let's use this because for some odd reason, Konami. I mean, it doesn't matter what. Uh, I guess uh, actually wait, we're we're going uh, wild bow right yeah we're going wild bow it, it doesn't matter what level it is you could still do um, you could still do the combo so uh, let's just go ahead and just I guess end with that um, and then let's go right here we're going to go into Tigris I believe it is um, if I'm not mistaken now there's like I said there's any variations ways if you can do this. Um, you could even put it back in there, but you know what? We're not going to do that right now. We're going to do this. I'm going to special summon the second Momorant. Now, see that this is where, you know what? We're going to only end up with, um, I already normal summon. So unless I draw, like if I hard draw another Mizuki, then we might be in, we might be in a good situation. Did I detach the Terra Top? Yes, I sure did. Um, now we don't want to draw into what's the name. So we're going to go ahead and go into a Bullhorn right now. Because we don't want to draw into the Drancia. Um, and we do want to kind of uh, leave our... I mean, the Viper. Why did I say Drancia? We don't want to leave ourselves drawing into some shit that you do not want to draw into. So we're going to put one Momorat, this Momorat, and then we can put a Totten Tomboy back. Uh, hmm. I think Tigris is the way to go. Let's just put the Tigris back. So... Um, no, we don't need to change another card. Man, we drew into a Storming Miracle. So now what we can do is we can go Mizugi, get this. Um, and like I said, this is just a one-trick pony deck. So it's not like we're going to... Actually, I think we have to go... We have to go... Yeah, we can't get rid of our... Actually, we can get rid of our whole hand. But I don't think that would kind of be smart. Would it be smart? I don't think so. So we're going to go into this Omega. Put this motherfucker in defense. Then we're going to go into our Drancia in attack mode because we want to bait him into attacking. And then we're going to go ahead and set this. And then, you know, we're, look at this. Look at the board. Uh, we started off with five. And then on our second turn, it's one, two, three, four, eight. So we have ten. So we went plus five. Or no, we drew one. So we went pretty much plus four uh, for no apparent reason. Uh, and we could have we could have kept going. But I didn't think it would be like, look, look, look at this. This whole back row is pretty much set up. Um... What 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 are you playing? Um, you know what? Fuck it. We have a breakthrough skill, so we might as well use it. Um, and yeah, this card right here, breakthrough skill, I really think is going to be very good. So if you guys uh, can pick them up for cheap, I mean they're not really expensive. You can get like a a dollar common and whatnot like that. Uh, that's that's uh pretty good. Uh, let's just use this, I guess. <laughs> We can just use it for free. Oh, we hit another man. See, now that would have been very bad because I was about to storming this back. And I'm pretty sure Vinicius or, or, or Vinicius or something like that is it is about to quit because um, uh, because of what, I mean, he has literally no way of getting around anything. 
So we're going to use this Drantia for free. Bam, pop this. And this is this. This is ridiculous. This is this is this is not. It should not be good. I mean, this should not be able to do. Uh, we don't need to really do anything else. Oh, we joined the terra top. So you know what we can do. We can detach this young, the the Digusto Emerald, and put back the Momorat, the Bullhorn, and what is it? The terra top. Yeah, let's put back the terra top just for free because we already have another one. Um. And then, then we drew into another Mizupi. All right, so that's pretty much game. Let's turn it into tight. How much is that? That is, uh, I mean, that's game because you can equip a Viper at any point in time. So let's go ahead and just do that. Get a fresh 1,200 in. Um, oh, no, do you have a Gorge? No, you don't. All right, so bam. Then you just equipped it to the, which is just so fair, I guess, of uh, attack. And just do it again. And this is game. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, like I was talking about with Breakthrough Skill. Breakthrough Skill, I really think it's going to be good because uh, the format coming up, not only do Zodiacs um, activate stuff on your turn, also, excuse me, no, excuse me, Artifact, um, uh, what's the name, Artifact Wind Witches or some shit like that, they're going to be running rampant. So bre having Breakthrough Skill, like, to activate and to put in your graveyard for next turn so you can't get Scythe, and stuff like that. I really believe this card is going to be good. But yeah, that is the end for the first duel. So let's get into the next one. Man, it, it, it feels like I haven't played in years. And I'm sorry for the little hummering sound you guys hear. It is extremely cold um, in California as of right now. Because it's just been raining. And look at this hand. You can't get any worse. You can't get any better with this hand. Now, Stormy Mirror Force is so fucking good. I, I just love it with Omega, man. I really wish I had Drowning. Drowning is absolutely just is just crazy with Omega. Like, the fact that your opponent thinks that they're going to OTK you and then they just run straight into a drowning because Omega does remove itself from the field, it is the craziest shit ever, man. That I really want to play drowning, but the more I did, the, the more I did the testing with his deck is that uh, I ran into, um, I should, probably should have went worse. No, because there's no way. Okay, well, we can go that next turn. Uh, in testing, I did run into, uh, what's the name, more often, these next week, I did run into um, Storming being a lot better, because uh, sometimes, you, you know, sometimes you got like boys and stuff, so you can't really get rid of it without shit getting hit, um, so, I mean, that's, that's, that's just, that's okay, um, but this is, this is gonna suck. Um, oh, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Um, let me see. If you want to point of summons a monster. See, now I can bottomless both. I think that might be good. Or I could just storming him back to his hand. Uh, no. I just want, I'm just storming him back to his hand. Because he can't get over this. Um, so. Yeah, let's just waste this storming real quick. And so now, I, once again, I get to put this back in his deck. And then hit him. Okay. Oh, that was stupid. Yeah. Okay. Well, that that was stupid. That was a waste of a card. Um. Oh no, actually not. Huh. It's not actually a waste of a card. See, now we can just put this back into his deck. And then, like I said, uh, Omega probably is going to go to one. So, um, you guys really don't have to really worry about that. And so right now, sadly, we don't. Uh, I don't run Shogun Saga because Shogun Saga would have ran straight over him. But you know what? That's cool because, like I said, I can just go into an Omega. And then Omega is just okay. And he can't give me another Kaiju. So, like I said, I can just build up what I want until I decide I want to OTK him. Because he did give me a 3,000 booty um, Kaiju, which is a Sea Turtle. Um, I can't switch this shit to defense for some odd reason. Um, oh, okay. Why is that? It's because I have to attack, huh? Yes, I do. But you know what? We're not going to attack. We're going to just end our turn. So, um, don't do what I did just now, folks. Because that was obviously retarded. Um, not just retarded. Just plain stupid. Because for some odd reason, um, I can't change the battle positions. Because I guess I'm forced to attack. Oh, okay. So, you're playing this. So, now that's already good, too. Because um, I really... Wait, what does Interrupt the Kaiju Slumber say? Does it say I can't switch to defense? I think it's because I have to attack with them. Um, during your main phase, oh, they can't, people have been cheating, wow, people have been cheating, because, like, it's been plenty of times where <laughs> I put this shit literally in fucking defense mode, like, 
Well, at least I've been cheating. Um, okay, see, like you say, he goes Trish, but he can't do anything. What's going on? Okay, well, we can just use that, so that's not a problem. Um, go ahead and banish you. And that's the problem with Colossus, is that he can negate my uh, he can negate my what's name. Um, so he doesn't ha really have anything in his hand. So I mean, I'm taking what uh, six and twelve. I'm taking eighteen. What is this? Let's break this skill. Okay, I thought there was another storming. That would have been beautiful, but I shouldn't have storming because um, it's my fault actually. Why? I should have paid attention. I, I I was cheating with interrupted Kaidu slumber, so um, not not cheating on purpose. It's just because I did not know that part of the effect existed. So what we can do right now is just start calling, and he's probably going to chain this. Um, and that's my phone going off. And folks, don't ever do that. There's no reason to chain. Uh, give me a second. Uh, be right. All right. So uh, yeah, he quit. So uh, there was no reason for him to activate this cost of this. Because, I mean, this was either going to die or he's going to negate it and die. So I would have just chained and then hit it with 18 and once again sat on my back row. Um, so, yeah, let's get another duel. All right. So now we're on to the third duel. And we're really running. We're really pushing through these. And I really don't like playing back row decks. But, God damn it, this, this format, I believe, calls for it. I need something to protect my life points because that is the only problem I have really with... Uh, with um with zombies is that we have no type of fucking protection and that's what sucks and since we can't like our, our shit is so restrictive so we can't like you know we don't have like Shogun Sa sovereign saga the 10 star is good but it needs sure news so while we do have protection the trap <clears throat> that really helps us out because um that can protect us from losing our life points so that's that's just automatically good so I mean, we're getting more support. Holy fuck, we're finna get, we are finna get quasar And so, I'm gonna just let him do what he gotta do. And I guess I have to wait. Uh, do not know why he's running 14 extra deck cards, so I'm just gonna guess that he forgot one, or he's that damn good, so he doesn't need the 15. But yeah, <clears throat> with the new support we are getting um, come February, with his, oh man, I can't wait till it gets here. Uh, that's going to help us out because now we have a way to protect our life points and we have a way to shuffle back stuff even though i really would like it if it just returned it to the graveyard i mean it's still good to put it back in the deck because that means we don't run out of resources um we already have a, you know we have a lot of zombies so we can still we can still uh use it to protect our life points which is just i really really enjoy that part of the effect because i, I already liked it threatening war um as a card like i always loved that card because my opponent can't attack. So that means I can just build whatever I want. And already have like. Um, this already in the back of my mind. Knowing my opponent cannot beat me this turn. Because he can't declare an attack. Um, so maybe Wabaku is better. But then there's like. There's stuff like. You know you know how Drancy gets equipped with Viper. And anything Viper battles. Or the monster battles with Viper. It gets banished. That's why I prefer Threatening War over Wabaku. But Wabaku I believe it's any damage. Or I, I don't know. I think Wabaku is battle damage also. But um, it, it probably might be both, but I don't, I don't know. You guys would, I mean, pretty much know when you guys see this video. But, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I, li I just love Threading War because the fact that, like, I can bring out, like, I used to play Dark Arm and shit. So I used to bring out a Dark Arm, Stardust, and, like, a Colossal Fighter or something like that. Um, and then my opponent would, like, build their field. And this is back in the day. So it's like, it didn't take, no, just two cards to build your whole field. It literally took you, like three or four it took you like a, a good combo you have to like you know use a whole bunch of resources to build this combo and finally when they build all that and before they go i mean when they enter their battle phase you just flip that new war knowing that they can't get over your field it's just it's just beautiful and the next turn dark arm can just pop and then i just proceed to win the game so <clears throat> i love the aspect of banishing a zombie to not take any damage and sovereign saga i really think is a is a is a very good card i wouldn't say great it's a very good card. Now, the, the the fact that it can protect, I believe, all zombies, or I, I don't know, I haven't seen, I didn't look at their card in a minute, but I believe it can protect all zombies with uh, just by banishing the Shiranu. Um, so that's good, even though we have Terra King Archfiend. No, Archfiend, why did I say Terra King Archfiend? No, we have Archfiend Zombie Skull, which he can do the same thing, but he's a lot harder to summon. Um, so yeah, uh, let me continue what I was talking about, but he is quitting. Quit it. There we go. Be right back. All right, so we're on against Jack. I don't know how to fuck your Jack. 
or something, whatever the case may be. But yeah, <clears throat> this is a bad hand. I mean, it's good because, I mean, it doesn't matter where you have the moment, right? But um, it's bad because this is just fucking terrible. Um, but yeah, so the 10 star, I mean, I, I really do enjoy the 10 star. I really wish we get something better, but hey, man, I can't complain of what we got. And look, look at this shit. This at all, because you, wow, that, I never knew you could do that. That is just fucking retarded. Like, why is that even legal? What the fuck? What? What? Why would you make a card? Okay. I can't, I can't complain because I know he has Kieran. So that's when I'm going to complain. If I see a Kieran, I'm going to fucking complain. What is this? Holy shit. Okay. Why, why are you playing this? So I know you searched Pendulum Dragon. This shit is retarded. I swear, man. This is dumb. This is really stupid. I need a sage or a unizombie or I'm about to... Oh, that's that's good. Whoa, okay. That was stupid. What are you doing? He's going to quit because that was... Wow. That was your play? What the fuck? I got to beat him. Okay. Wow, that was just fucking ridiculous. This is what I'm playing against. And now I literally can't do anything. Because I've drawn the Momorat. Uh, that doesn't say hand or deck, right? Because if it does, I'm doing that. I'm not fucking normal zoning this shit. Oh, fuck. God damn it. This, uh, this is just disgusting. But we can still can come back. We need to send that to the graveyard. Let's go Wild Bow. <clears throat> Let's use Wild Bow. Bam. Special summon this motherfucker from our hand. Ooh. Let's go Tigris. I don't think we even have to go Tigris, but we're going to go Tigris. Just for the fuck of it. <clears throat> and this really sucks, man. Is because we don't have a... Damn it. Come on, man. This... You know what? We can probably draw a zombie. We can probably draw one with this. Um, once again, let's go Bullhorn. Yes. Let's go Bullhorn. Bam. With the Bullhorn. Let's go ahead and search this Viper because we don't want to draw into it. Uh, we know we've already normal summoned, so it doesn't really matter, huh? Oh, fuck it. We're going to go to Gustin Road anyways. Um, there's literally nothing else we could do. We can go ahead and do the Momorat. Uh, we could put one. Oh shit, that's kind of bad. Three. Fuck it. Eh, that's pretty cool. Let's go Drantia. Um, we can't target those, huh? Uh, there's not a way we can get over this, right? Actually, we can break sword and pop the Emerald. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break sword and pop the emerald. So I could, uh, actually, with with break sword, we could, no, I don't want to pop. I don't want to pop the dark hole either. Fuck, I think emerald is the best choice to do. I mean, but then that's, uh, no, you know what, fuck it. We're going to have to waste this dark hole. We're going to have to waste it. Because there's this, there's no way to get around this. We really dis, we drew awful. But that's fine. So uh, let's go ahead and do. E Fuck! Why did I do that? I did not mean to do that. Yeah, let's just go ahead and. I did not mean to do that. I wanted to wait until his turn, kind of, but I kind of didn't. Um, the reason why I wanted to wait to his turn is because uh, I wanted him to activate it. Because if he draws into another one, we're just in some fucking deep doo doo, and we're not going to be able to get out of it. Um, Oh, man. He's playing a... What is it? He has one, two, three... I think it was a 60-card deck. Now that's four, so that's 50. No, it might have been 52. So, yeah. Hopefully, he doesn't rip like a lawn morning, but I'm pretty sure he's not playing that. I know he's going to have Wisdom Eye. See, that's the... That's the problem. Wisdom Eye just has to go. Let me see.
I, I know that isn't a cost, but it's not once returned, so it doesn't really matter. What do you do? Fuck it, dude. Wait, what does he have in his hand? That's an 8. That's already on the board. That's an 8, too. Wait, no, it's not. It is an 8. So, I have to. I can't even chance it, because I don't know what the fuck they're going to do on this game. Because Dev Pro does some stupid shit. So, hopefully he does just have a low, low skill. If you don't have a low skill, we, we're just fine. Um... He didn't have a low scale. Okay, well, that's fine with me. Don't tell me you got some bullshit that. Oh, okay. I think he has that pendulum graph card. All right, so we're we're just fine. Oh, and now we do a strike. So that's that's even that's even better. Um, what do you have in here? We have one, two, three. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, shit. We don't have enough. Actually, yes, we do, huh? Bam. Let's use his break sword. Of you. It's probably that pendulum graph card. What do you do? Oh, fuck. Well, that's okay with me. I'm not tripping. What do you do? You special summon, correct? What do you do? Um, you can add one to your hand. Oh, okay, I don't give a fuck about that. You're losing, sir. Um, let's use you. Two, three, four, five. So, wait, do you do something when you get destroyed? Oh, and we do that, so that's really good. I mean, so you, you lose, sir. Okay, like, I'm, I'm not understanding. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we, we, we got another victory, even though we drew fucking horrible. Um, and I believe, what, how, how long was that? 22 minutes? Uh... I do want to keep them short. So, you know, we're going to end on that. Um, we do, I do want to keep them relatively short. I don't want to make them, you know, 30, 40, 50 minutes. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Um, so, yeah, like I said, um, a couple of things. A breakthrough scale I really think is going to be very good in this upcoming format. Um, I really enjoy that new trap card that we do got. I am probably will be playing that on Friday or Gozuki's or something with Gozuki's or something. I really hope we get that shit in the Fusion of Forces pack, even though I know we're not going to get it. I really, or I really hope we get it as a TCG exclusive. That would be so fucking good. That would be, just be the, 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 the greatest thing to happen since uh, since we got fucking saved. Oh my god. But yeah, that is it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Click add to help support the channel, which would be very helpful I upload monday wednesday and friday at one o'clock on the dot so you guys get three videos a week and all that so like i said if you guys want to see me play a deck you want to see me play more of this um just let me know in the comments below and all that noise and jazz and all that so yeah thank you guys for watching i will see you guys